Hello and welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to eat dishes from such a significant moment in time that it made history. The catch is, we don't know what that moment or what that menu from history is, but our chef Ebers does. We've done a couple of these now. This is the third in the trio and it is a five course menu that you'll be feasting on. It's going to be a good day. First course, I'm going to sort you out with a few canapes and a little glass of whoa, champagne. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ebbers, this is, this is a cooking format. <laughs> just, these are pre-made. Plenty of cooking to follow. But what we a have way to start the day. Breakfast. But I want you to be very comfortable on the sides and enjoy the entire experience today. Are you dropping some Laurent Perrier? Literally only the finest champagne for this particular menu. Ebbers doesn't splash out <laughs> that easily, so that's got to be a clue. I just want you to be comfortable over there while I kind of distract you with the canapes and champagne so I can crack on with the first course. I'll take this one first. Okay, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take this one first. <clears throat> the first course is a lobster salad with julienne of mango and pear tossed together with the French dressing. Oil, a little bit of mustard, salt, pepper and vinegar. I'm going to use lemon juice. That's not vinegar. No, but it is a, it is a form of acid. Pear and mango julienne. I would say it's unusual, so we're not going classic. Apart from the julienne bit, doesn't it sound very French? No. So at the moment, I'm getting posh, high-end vibes. Yeah. Lobster. Lobster and mango. It's important to point out as well, as these hints and clues come in, you guys play along. If you think you've got it, comment down below and also let us know what time you think you've got it. Because I'd love to see you beat Barry and Jamie. The question is today, do you want to win or to lose? So I'm making just a very tiny portion of this, a few rocket leaves, frisé, whether it's lobster or you could just do with some, some prawn. It's a beautiful, simple throw together dish and it is the fruity with kind of the sweet lobster meat, which I'm just going to Slice. Does this dish have a name? Lobster salad with julienne. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay, fine. Interesting. I love it when chefs do that though. You go, oh, it's such a simple salad just to throw together on a summer's evening. First of all, First of all find a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I said you could easily do yeah. this with prawns, whack them out the freezer. You can grill them so they're hot. In this instance, they're not, they're cold. So he hasn't given us the name of this salad, which I wonder because. Waldorf salad is a very, yes. like, there's a moment in history with that. I wonder if the name would give this away. By tossing it all together in a bowl, every last bit is dressed with that gorgeous French dressing and then topped with fresh lobster. Super simple. Garnished with a claw. Simplicity at its best. Canapes and champagne down. First course has been served. Probably time for your first clue. Oh. The venue of this menu. Oh, the venue's menu. Was a symbol of agreement and harmony between two nations. The venue was a... The venue of this menu was a true symbol. 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 Of harmony and agreement between two nations. It's French, it's posh. Oh, it's not French, it's posh. You don't think it's French? No, I don't They're think French it's French. French dressing. It's got a croque monsieur on the plate. We're drinking French champagne. Well, I don't... I, harmony and agreement between two nations makes it more difficult. If it was lots of nations, I think I'd have more of a steer. Let me move on to the main course. Beef tornado with peppercorn sauce, potato croquettes, and then carrot and spinach soubrique. So I'm going to start cooking the steak in clarified butter so you can get a nice high heat, and obviously cooking in butter is the best way. That's what my heart says. Heavily season our beef fillet, which you can see has been cut from the fillet, so you get that classic tornado shape. This is fancy. Is the location a posh hotel? I think it's bigger than that. I've got one idea. Well, I have you, I've got nothing. And then at this stage, I'm gonna add in garlic and rosemary, and we'll use that to base the beef. TikTok based, as it's now known. What? That's just the way everyone does on TikTok. Right? I can cook steak, watch. And then they just baste. Based. It. Yeah, based. And now, <clears throat> with that beautiful colour, 
I'm going to just place it onto a baking tray. Oh, oh. I'm throw it onto a baking tray. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly used a word there that would have given it away. What word would you have said that would have given it away? So classic French cooking. Mm. This is the kind of thing that you might even see in our little yellow book. The dish can't be that old if you're using mango, because mango would have been hard to get, get a hold of yeah. hundreds of years ago. For me, this puts me in the last, within the last century. I reckon from the 1920s onwards. Now going heavy on black pepper, really heavy. He doesn't make those sort of mistakes. And brandy. So you've got all those wonderful beefy juices, you've got the garlic, the rosemary, now the shallot, the black pepper, and then we add beef stock. Decent. Let that reduce right down before finishing with cream. Classically, it would also have a little bit of pork. I forgot that. This dish was served with potato croquettes, which is mashed potato. I'm gonna enrich with a little bit of butter, season well, and then pass through flour, egg, and breadcrumbs before frying off in our clarified butter. What we're doing is recreating the menu as printed in that book from a very specific date. But if we're thinking about the topic as a whole, it kind of began in 1969. To give you some kind of ballpark figure on the era we're talking of. Okay. What began in 1969? We walked on the moon. These potato croquettes had truffle and slithered almonds in them. Very little expense, if any, was spared in this menu. Oh no! Don't you don't you don't, don't, don't pretend. Oh no! I've got a root. I've got a root. He's got a root. I've got a root. It might be the wrong root. I could always turn around later. Today, this is an absolute privilege to be stood here, sipping champagne and recreating this menu because there were top chefs, top top chefs, who would have been involved in this menu. It's a celebration, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's a it's They've a big got, they celebration. They've gone big on this. This is a big deal. For a lot of people, or for a few people. Mm. I mean, it's a beautiful looking plate, but he didn't take ten minutes to plate it up. No, no, here. He... The vegetable dish was carrot and spinach soubrique. Okay. Soubrique. Yeah. What's a soubrique? Vegetable fritters kind of thing. While I'm making the soubrique, would you like a second clue? Yes. yes, please. I'd be interested to know if anyone at home has already got any kind of idea where we're at. Surely not. Clue number two, and this is open to interpretation, but the guests eating this menu would have been awarded freedom and liberty, ability to go about things more productively, truly revolutionary. Because they ate a lobster salad. Yeah. Lots of Good for you. <laughs> lots of cryptic words, does it help? Egg yolk. Spinach, carrot, thick bechamel, and then we'll shape them into patties that we can fry. Again, in clarified butter. Classic seasoning with spinach, nutmeg. I, I, I think I know what the revolutionary event may have been, and maybe what we're celebrating. Nations, not countries. They said we're never going to get it from that. Stop, Stop it. it. Stop it. That's Stop annoying. It. Stop it. <laughs> That's really annoying. Yeah. He made he made a statement, a loud bang, it was annoying, but what is going on? Did this event really happen or is it fictional? This event really happened. Just before I serve, it's worth addressing the fact that all of these courses were accompanied by fine wines from the cellar. Our budget couldn't stretch to a 1979 Chablis. So you're gonna have to make do with your champagne. Plate up, super simple. Lots of effort in its preparation, but simple to plate. And the paper menus of this feast are still reaching hundreds, if not thousands of pounds at auction today. What? Why? Beef tornado, pepper sauce, carrot and spinach soubrique, and truffle potato croquettes. <laughs> all cooked in clarified butter, so offset with a seasonal salad. A spectacular menu to a vent that I have no idea. In the menu would have been a selection of French cheeses and finished with a plate of seasonal fruit. As if that wasn't enough, it was followed up with petit fours and the option oh of a goodness. cigar. I've just realised. 
we're now at the end of the video. <laughs> I thought we had two more courses left yeah, to work where's, it out. Where's dessert gone? There's course four, there's course five. You are, no, I thought we had time. Chocolate petit four, plus no. the options to the gar. I have one more clue for you. Oh. <clears throat> As you can see, quite a lot of food. But this menu would have been served for up to 100 guests by a team of just six working under pressure to deliver that menu. No, that's not it, that's not it. That is it. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Dum, 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 dum. The question is, do you guys at home have any idea, comment down below, the time code at which you think you might have got it? And if you've Googled it, you've cheated. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't count. The last time something like this happened was 2003. Ah! Yep, 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 yep. Drop your nose into that. <laughs> funky cheeses. <laughs> That's real funky. Confident. I just don't. I've got nothing. I've got. This is embarrassing. Right, you've both written down an answer. It's so what I was wrong. hoping was that from the sidelines, you'd be able to lounge around with your champagne, occasionally check in on what I'm doing over here and take it all on board. Ah! Oh! Because, no, 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 no. Doesn't make sense still. <laughs> well, there you go. Reveal your answers. What have you got? That. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. Concord. That makes so much sense. And this was the menu from the final flight. Well done. That makes so much more sense than something about women's rights or Oriental Express. <laughs> <laughs> I panicked today's right, that's right. Well done. But I can reveal that this was one of the menus served on board Concord. It happened to be in 1995, not its last flight, yeah. but it was one leg of its first round the world flight. Well done, well done. Flight. Flight. Yes. It all makes so much sense now. Airplane food yeah. at the highest notch. The word concord literally means agreement and harmony between yeah. two nations, and it was between Britain and France. Okay, okay. And this menu, was exclusive, regularly changed, but this was the one of that particular flight between New York and Toulouse. And the boom of the board was somewhat sonic. Cheers. 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 Bon appetit. Mm. Mm. That truffle croquette is so good. And the Subrique mm -hmm. is just so mm -hmm. classic French. Jay got it this time, but did you get it? If you got it, let us know what clue gave it away and what time you got it by commenting down below. And if you want us to recreate more menus from history, then give the video a like so we know how to make them. Stressful. <laughs> Iconic. But we're barely a minute into this video. We've got two courses. We're barely two minutes into this video. We've got two <laughs> courses. We're barely seven minutes into the video. <laughs> we're a mere two minutes, 23 seconds into this video and... <laughs> Look, it's taken Ebers five minutes to get two courses on the table. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, mate. Right. <laughs>